Australia is cooking something special for overseas carers. Hi, my beautiful and wonderful people. So good to have you here again. This is Nos J. if you are just seeing me now. And a very big shout out to all my responding subscribers. Thank you so much for your love and support. In today's video, we shall be talking about how you can become a healthcare assistant in Australia. <laughs> is you know guys all countries are short of carers yes most countries if not all countries are short of carers and as such they are now looking outside their countries to recruit carers they are looking elsewhere to, to recruit carers and australia is currently short of carers as we speak right now there is an agreement going on between aged care providers between australia aged care providers and aged care provider industry the australia aged care providers are currently undergoing a concession right now with the aged care provider industry they are trying to enter an mou so that they will have an opportunity of recruiting overseas carers into their country so the thing is when they when they are done with this agreement they can start recruiting carers properly from overseas this is the news australia aged care providers cannot apply to assess the new aged care industry level agreement the aged care industry level agreement streamlines the recruitment of qualified direct care workers from overseas to work in the aged care sector employers can use this where appropriately qualified australians are not available Yes, it has always been like that. <laughs> for all countries, where qualified citizens are not available for the job, you have to look elsewhere to recruit. Australia is cooking something special for overseas carers. So if you have been longing to relocate to Australia <laughs> and it has been difficult for you, obviously now, you know, it takes some time now is your opportunity because <laughs> they did not just stop there do you know that when you are employed as a carer you are actually getting a priority visa you see how urgently they need health carers your visa is actually going to be a priority visa you can use the aged care industry labor agreement this is talking to the sponsors the recruiters recruiters can use the aged care industry labor agreement to sponsor overseas workers for the temporary ski shortage top class 482 visa in direct care occupations such as nursing support worker personal care assistant aged or disabled carer however if they could not find anybody in the country for the job the opportunity will go to my overseas brothers and sisters who are interested in this post Sponsor overseas workers for permanent residence under the employer nomination scheme subclass 180 visa program. Workers must have at least two years of full work time work experience in Australia in a relevant direct care occupation. Two years of work experience is not tied to a particular employer or visa subclass. This is after you have relocated to the country and worked for two years, you can then switch to a permanent residence visa. So two year pathway to permanent residence through the employer nomination scheme, streamlined visa nomination and priority visa application processing, no post-qualification work experience requirement, English language concession for workers with relevant community language skills, annual salary of at least 51,202 Australian dollars or the Australian market salary rate, whichever is higher. Don't worry guys, I will recap for you. Key visa application requirements, hold a relevant AQF certificate, 
that is equivalent or equivalent or higher qualification. You can also have 12 months of relevant work experience or part-time equivalence. Obtain a positive skill assessment from the Australian Nursing and Military Accreditation Council or the Australian Community Workers Association if you obtain your qualification, qualifications overseas. This also applies if you claim work experience in lieu of the former qualification. Have an English language proficiency level of at least IELTS 5.0 or equivalent. Workers with target community language skills employed by culturally or culturally and linguistically diverse aged care providers need at least IELTS 4.5 or equivalent. If you want to relocate to Australia via this path, these are the jobs you are going there for as a nursing support worker or a personal care assistant or aged or disabled carer. So these are the jobs you are going to apply for from your home country so guys according to what we've just read on this website a quick recap once the agreement has been reached the employers will now have license to sponsor overseas carers into australia for carer jobs if you are an overseas carer currently watching this video now it is now time you start arranging your documents okay your certificates if you have mvq3 that is fine i think is equivalent to aqf3 so you can also go online to search where you can have how you can get these certificates if you don't have any and if you are a nurse and you have not been able to relocate to australia based on some examination stuff you can also use this pathway if you are interested so that we even give you an advantage because you have one or two years working experience so guys if you are a carer and you don't have any working experience i would advise you should have at least one year working experience even three months working experience just have an experience in taking care of people and they are going to give you a temporary visa initially a temporary visa of four eight two then after two years of working in australia you can then switch to a permanent residence visa of 186. You see, guys, you are meant to work for two years and then you are eligible to become a permanent residence in this country. So, guys, this is actually a huge opportunity for overseas carers longing to work in Australia. As at now, they have not started recruiting, okay? I thought it's best to just inform you so that you will be aware that something like this is on the way. So that immediately they start recruiting, you will already have these requirements with you and then you can kickstart the process. So guys, don't forget, you also need to prepare for IOTS of 5.0. If you can get higher, that is better, all right? If you got a valuable piece from this video, consider subscribing to this channel, guys. Please support my channel, okay? And enable your notification icon so that you get informed immediately I post any video. And then give this video a like. This is a way YouTube can recommend my video to other viewers, okay, who can also benefit from this content share with your friends i will really appreciate that and leave your comment below guys i will be right in the comment section where we can have one-on-one -on -one chat so i will be waiting for your comments there i hope to see you in my next video until then keep staying blessed i love you bye